Hello, YouTube. Here we are. We're at the end of an era. Well, we're at the trailer for the end of an era. Here I am going to react to the final trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And I'm going to jump right into it after I put my headphones in. Alrighty, here we go. Trailer reaction in three, two, one. There's always a little something like that to kind of it's jump scare you. Although I wasn't too scared. <laughs> a feeling. The force brought us together. Yeah, that's fit. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. Could be Poe. <gasps> oh, I love that shot. Oh man. Aquaman? Oh, that was in a teaser that we had. Long Whatever it is. <laughs> I love that shot too. That was in a teaser. That version of the music. Your destiny. It gets even better. What was that? Oh, are they running on a ship? <laughs> the force will be with you. Always. Oh, use them both, why don't you? <laughs> Another bit. Probably no. Okay, it's the subscribe thing. I'm already subscribed to Star Wars. I say it every time. Alrighty, that was really really cool. Ah, uh, gotta be honest, not the best trailer. I really liked it though. It's got a lot of stuff in there to really you know sink our teeth into. I liked it. Uh, Couple of things I really liked, and I've already kind of taken a screenshot from the teaser they put out, which had that weird ice. Looks like an iceberg in space. <laughs> uh, it had that, and then it had the fleet assembling, and then it had uh, Ray, Finn, Poe, and Chewie in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. Um, I took the bit with the fleet assembling because that sort of shot is something that ever since I was a kid, I've just dreamed of space battles with more ships than we've seen before. Because, you know, back in the day, it was a lot of hard work to do those space battles. And then even with stuff like CGI in um, Revenge of the Sith, computers couldn't handle it. Like, they were really, I thought it was pretty good CGI and it was really well done. And it was one of the biggest battles we'd seen, really, probably the biggest. Um, but it still didn't matter what was in my head. These kind of shots, however, they've been really good. Really, really good. So that's kind of starting to match what I was imagining. What else? Uh, you know what? I'm going to watch it again, because then that way I'll have some more to talk about, and I can actually maybe not talk over everyone talking. <laughs> so, headphones again. Let's do it. Okay. That is Finn. Oh. Good people will fight if we lead them. I love that shot still. I love those chips. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. But I do. 
Aquaman shot. <laughs> yeah, there's that iceberg thing. Long have I waited. Maybe it is just an iceberg. And now, the death zone. Not death zone. Started coming together. Good ship, my bad. Or boat. What uh what are you doing there, three PO? Taking one last look. What's that all about? At my friends. Thank you, Santa! Reference to Blind Wave, check them out. What's going on? <laughs> the force will be with you. Always. Always. Ah. <laughs> nice. Alright, well I already know there's not a thing at the end, so I'm going to stop. Wow, there's a lot going on there. Watching it this time round, there's a bit where the Emperor says, I've been waiting for so long and now you're both or you're you're here together you're both here and you're coming together will be your downfall i've been thinking that's been kylo and ray but what if it's ray and finn because at the beginning finn's saying the force has brought us together it's an instinct and he, he has always wanted to be with ray throughout the past two films i don't know maybe interesting food for thought we've only got two months until we find out uh so much great stuff the set pieces of running on the ship and the i called it the aquaman shot while i was uh watching just then but you know um, Ray and Kylo fighting and Kylo appearing out of that wave or as the wave crashes around him. The uh, Corvette as it flies over a forest. Um, the fleet, all that sort of stuff is really cool. The story, I don't know. That's the great thing about this movie. I've got no idea which way they're going with it. Uh, it's really interesting. And why is the Emperor there? How is the Emperor there? That's really cool. I don't know. But I'm really keen to find out. And we've only got two months, like I said. So if you have any theories, possibilities, or maybe, you know, you know a little bit more about larger Star Wars lore, which I kind of see Disney treating it like they treat the Marvel comics for the MCU. Storylines have been told in comics and Star Wars books, and they're drawing characters and ideas from them. And the MCU is its separate thing from the comics and the Star Wars movies are their separate thing as well. So if you have any knowledge of some possible plot threads that could be used, chuck them down in the comments. It'd be really interesting. We could all have a discussion. Uh, if you like this video, please press like. And if you want to share my smiling face around, because reacting to stuff can be fun or funny, depending on what your point of view is, please do. That would be a lot of fun and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. It gives me more of an idea of what I should do. So please hit that subscribe button and you'll see some more. Also, if you want to, chuck the bell on because everyone says to do that. You know what? You do you, but it'll be really helpful if you chuck the bell on. So maybe do that. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in another video. Or you'll catch me. Or you'll see me. Anyway, there'll be another video at some point. You'll see it. See ya.